Hello, welcome once again. Yesterday, um, we made a video about the gauges in the car, the instrument cluster panel, which is the dashboard or the gauges that you see right here. I was referring to this gauge specifically, which is the most important gauge that you should always pay attention to upon startup. Now, as you see over here is 14 volts. This we can use as a multimeter. You don't need a multimeter. This does it for you. So let's put in the run position where all the lights come on, obviously. Now, as you see, I'm already at 12.5 volts. The one after the thick mark, the increment after that, is around 12.5 volts, which means I'm in pretty, I'm in decent shape to start the car. Doesn't mean I can start it, depends on the current, but at least it's not low. If I'm all the way in the bottom, below that, I'm, I'm around 10.5 volts. Now, start the car, no problem. And you'll see it go back up to 14 volts because the alternator now took over. So, this instrument cluster, this dashboard instrument panel, can still work at around 11 volts or 10.5 volts. Whatever the voltage is, even if it's 10.5 volts, 11 volts, this voltmeter will show you. If you are that low, that could mean obviously you left a, a, an accessory on, obviously the lights or anything like that, or maybe you have a parasitic draw that I made a video on, or the alternator didn't replenish the battery, or you actually had a crank and no start, which means you have no fuel pressure, no spark, maybe compression, but maybe crank the car a lot of times and then you drain out the battery. So a lot of things, but the fact that I have 12, the fact that I have, now I have a surface charge, watch what happens now. I'm around 13.5 volts. Why? Because the alternator still replenished the battery. I have a surface charge on the battery. So this is a great indicator to, to, to see, <coughs> excuse me, to see the condition of your battery. If the lights go on and off on your instrument panel, and it, let's say it stays off, then you have a bad connection to it. Maybe the positive, maybe the negative to the engine block or the post. Again, also there could be corrosion, a voltage drop across the terminals like I made a video on. You could That's why you could be low voltage around 10.5, 11. You're losing voltage somewhere. If you're not losing it through the internal of the battery, you might be losing it on the, on the cables themselves and there are videos that I made about that on the cables themselves to measure corrosion or rust by an ohmmeter function on your multimeter. Anyway, upon startup, always pay attention to this. This is the most important right here. The most important gauge that, that you'll have in your car. Anyway, thanks for watching.